getting some love today. What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video by myself, Adam Ival, and I'm down here today with my BMW M3. I did tell you in a video a couple of episodes back, if you are a subscriber of the channel or a watcher of the channel, that this was going to get some love. My BMW M3 E92, limited edition, one of 500. It doesn't get used that often, if I'm completely honest. It's like my, this is like one of my hero cars, so when I eventually was able to buy one, insure one, and enjoy it, I'm very happy with how it is right now. Out of the box, these are insane cars. And I haven't felt the urge to modify it to make it better, to make me fall in love with it again, because I still haven't fell out of love with it. Which is great news for me, because it means I haven't had to spend loads of money, but I am going to have to show you what I've finally spent some cash on today. As you can see, we've got it all nicely tucked up in the garage. I love this car, man. It's so beautiful. The colour is amazing on it. I like being completely open with you guys, because I like that you come back and watch my videos. It's like a mutual trust, I guess, but I actually damaged it again. So the newest bit of damage on here is this mark. In the paint just there, a chair fell on it in the garage. So you park cars in a garage to keep them safe, and a chair fell on it. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to get that out with uh, some teacup or something, hopefully. Other damage that you may have seen before, but uh, down here, the side skirt's damaged because I hit a tyre that flew off a lorry on a dual carriageway. So let's show you the brakes that I have for the whip. Because I have majority upgrades. I bought OEM replacement rear discs because, well... They're just so expensive, honestly. So these are what I have here. Ignore the steering wheel and stuff. I have got DBA Discs Brakes Australia. That's what they're called. Um, we're working with these guys now, and these are all available on 621. So I thought, well, let's go for some of their um, front slotted discs for the M3. They gave me a really, really good price on these. I've also then gone for the Ferrodo DS2500s. I've used these on every single car I've ever had. So I trust these pads, and I love these pads. And yeah, so th and then I've got the ATE replacement for the rear. They're so heavy. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring them all over now to the car. But first off, I'm gonna get it jacked up. I'm gonna get the wheels off. Hi, Peck. Hi, Peck's here to help, but he's gonna. We, we put Finn in the back of his rental car yesterday, so he's gonna quickly hoover it out. There's battery on charge over there, dude. <laughs> Einhell sent me this super rad little like dustbuster thing, and this little end piece here. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Mate, don't. I, I only get one. I can't just ring them whenever I want asking for free stuff. So this thing is actually amazing for collecting dog hairs. So if anybody is a dog owner out there, I'll try and find a link to one of these or try and sell you one through us because we're trying to get an account with Einhell. They're amazing. I rate it high. Haven't lost this locking wheel nut, have I? <laughs> Don't speak too soon, though. So as you can see in here, these are just re Look at how bad they are. But you wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. Look at that. It's not even been connecting with the pad. So, <laughs> and how I drive this, how I'm not dead, I have no idea. Finn's trying to lick my hair. Hey, this is what it's like down here. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so these are the rear ATE brakes. And the nice little thing is they come with new little bolts. So if these ones get proper screwed up, we just drill them out. Yeah. That's a result. Cool. Um, they are directional, it's kind of cool, I guess. So well, let's get cracking, shall we? So we can get, get this done, because... We have not stopped for like a week doing all this car stuff, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm hanging out. I got the, I got the clip here <laughs> off, and now I think we're gonna pop this little thing off here. So these stupid bolts on the back of this are seven mil, like what are they, Allen key bolts? I haven't got a seven mil. So let's go buy a seven mil from somewhere, pack up. Come on. God damn it, man. There you are, you little. Come to me. Came for four pounds worth of Allen key and we're coming away with all of this. Oh, we go again then, Tom Peck. Right, please fit. Oh, like a freaking dream. I think I just cut my arm open on a brake this doing that. <laughs> I think I've been driving this thing. We're just getting the last bolt out now. That was mad how tight they were in. Oh my goodness, but thank God for that. Unfortunately, this caliper is like 
The piston's really far out, so we're trying to find a clamp to bring that back in as well. Ow! Oh my god! What? I just dropped that thing on my finger. So the ATE replacement rear cat uh, brake rotor. I've got a headache, man. I'm in a bad mood. I downed that red bolt to get rid of it, and now I regret it. Mm. Right, now for the worst jobs in the entire world. Cool, I love this car. Well, now at the point we've got to put pads in, and this is going to suck because the piston's out so far on this. So, should I try it anyway, or should I just wind it in already? You have to wind it in. Uh, Alright, let's do that. Frodo DS2500, sick. Look at that, look at how much pad was left on that. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> how did this thing even stop? There we go. Fucking lovely job, boy. Yeah! <laughs> 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 you <can> swat. <laughs> it's like, if it's tight, it's tight. It's tight, it's tight. Uh. Well, that pad's stuck in the, in the thing, is it? I need you to hold it so it doesn't keep dropping. Is there something on the pad on this one? Oh, it's got a pad wear indicator. <laughs> what f***ing good that is! So, the brake on this side's got this little pathetic clip thing that has never given me a notification the whole time I've owned the car. So it can't work. It can't be working. There's no way it can be working. The pads don't exist on this side, look. The brakes are f***ing... That this can't work, but I'm gonna clip it back in anyway. This is a waste of time and effort, but we're doing it. I think I've actually just bent that. Great, man. This is so good. What a cool idea. Right, we've got it off. Well, Peck managed to get it off. I couldn't get the two bolts off the back off, man. They were just on too tight, and then I smacked my hand, and then I was in a bad mood. So, look at the state of these. Oh, my God. But anyway, this side came off way faster than last time. The other one took us an hour and a half because we had to go into Colchester and buy loads of stuff. <laughs> but um, this one took like five minutes. So we'll get this done and then get the DVA brakes on the front, have a proper look at them because I'm actually really excited to see what they're like because they're actually really nice prices. And because you guys are watching this video, if anyone is interested in a set, I'm going to give you a little cheeky discount code because we've got them all listed on 621.com now. Enter brakes at checkout and you'll get like free delivery or save some percentage i haven't worked out what we've got in them yet but i'll sort you guys out so bear with that <laughs> Wee, free money <laughs> you're having a breakdown i just took it off yeah that's fine I can't the little clip has just off like it was in it and it pinged out and it no longer exists. It's gone into that vortex that every garage has. That black void. Yeah, just, just, things just go in and never come out. I've just got a massive stain on pearl paint. <laughs> this is meant to be easy. It's only a f***ing two minute job. Why is everything sucked? It's 13 plate car! <laughs> Congratulations! Just turned the car on to see if that sensor brought up any warnings, and it does. So I've ordered another one uh, for £11, so it's not the end of the world. It's just so hard to do in there, so I might see if I can do that with someone with a ramp. If anybody local has a ramp I could use for 10 minutes just to chuck that on uh, in the next couple of weeks, that'd be amazing. I won't bother filming that because it's literally just a plug and then a thing on the back of the brake caliper, but... Yeah, um, it's getting kind of late. This is taking way longer than I thought, and I've only just got the front up on a little brick so I can get a jack under it to the jacking point. <sighs> so frustrating, but... I can't wait to have good brakes in this car again because it has been a long time coming. Yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna take Finn for a walk and then uh, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the front. So, I mean, it won't be any different to you, but yeah, it will to me. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. I am dying. I am so tired, man. And I'm back. It's now late. The sun's going away and it is freezing. But I'd really like to get this car finished tonight, if possible. I have never taken apart BMW front calipers before. I'm very, very tired. To get these wheels off, these front wheels off this car, it was a nightmare. I think I broke my toe trying to kick them off. 
they were solid on the front there. It was a real bad time. Get stuck in and work out how to do it. It can't be that difficult, can it? Like okay, so much like the rear, there was like a thing, what, what would you call that? Like a, whatever that thing's called, one of them. There was these little caps on the back of the uh, the rear for the sliders. So I've got to have some music on it, still in my head in here, so I'm just gonna uh, get this done and then put some song over for you so I don't get copyright banned. Okay, get in here now with this, but this side has got a brake sensor on it and I don't want to have to order another one, so I'm going to try and safely remove this and not wreck the clip that's in it. When I do get it off, I'm just a little loose away from there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do that now. This pad did not want to come out, but not as much as this one. Oh my god, can you see how that's all melted on there? Here, let me get that in focus. That was completely stuck to the caliper. That was not fun at all. My goodness me. The pecs come back, thank God, because I was on the <laughs> verge of, honest to God, leaving and leaving this car forever because I was adding up. <laughs> so I, these um, bolts rounded. I didn't even do them hard, did I? You watched yeah. me just do it normally and it just Shit. squeezed. So I've just gone down, we took the heads off of them and we're just gonna leave them because I never put them on any Honda. What's that, what's that brush, please? Never uh, do it on a Honda, so whatever, don't actually care. Just gonna make sure the nuts are done up tight, it'll be alright, the bolts are done up tight. So, gonna put the DVA brakes on right now. They look pretty beautiful, to be honest. Hope they work as good as they look. Um, they sent me an absolute ton of stickers in there, too, which but they are like the sport, like road and race ones, club spec. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, they, they, I'll link, like I said, oh my goodness, I'll give, oh my you, goodness, I'll give you a discount on these. So, if you want to buy a set through me, more than welcome to. Um, it'll be great for the support. And we're in! Cannot explain how frustrating these are to work on with all these little stupid tabs! Oh, bro, I'm so glad that's done. Thank you for the help, Peck! I do look good. I'm not, I am annoyed we, had, we messed up them bolts, but it is what it is, man. It wasn't even us, it was just crap old BMW bolts. Come on. Come on. Right. So Adam was stressing for how long, Ed? About what? 10 minutes? About 15 minutes. Okay, so Adam was stressing out. I did tell him that maybe. One of these slide pins is slightly bigger, maybe? Can I just say, the, the way these break... No, 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 no. The, these lines and everything are just no, the you're... single worst thing I've ever had to freaking do. I'd rather bleed brakes again than this. You're crap. blaming something wrong. So, Adam didn't realise, well, that one could be such a spastic. And show me these two slide pins, please, Ad. And when I said to you, one will be different sizes. And there we go. One is way bigger. You stupid twat. Let's all do cars, he says. Oh, no, <laughs> what are these? What, what, is, what is with these? Well, a brake sensor. Right, well, so they're supposed to tell you when your brakes yeah, are out. They're supposed to. But they don't. And Yours they don't. They have not worked. Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, mate, this car will do so many miles. What, what do you mean? Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> what, what you... So, what we learned, Ad? We've learned that these brake sensors are the single worst thing ever to happen to a car. And? And that you were correct once. Congratulations. You now know how I feel all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's definitely home. <laughs> Follow Tom Peck. <laughs> so we're taking a break from recording for a second because I just want to see if this works. Nah, I'm in no way associated with these guys. I bought it from Halfords earlier, as you saw. This is amazing. This got it out with just two little applications of it. It's got the, do you want to come look? It's like, yeah, the mark's gone. It's amazing. I, I'm actually amazed at that because I, I, I thought that was in for good because I used a bunch of products I had at my house. But that's gone out. I just want to let you guys know, we're all car guys. So if you have a white car and you have a, a little mark on it, that stuff's sick, and it was like eight quid, wasn't it? Yeah, eight pounds. Something. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I'm gonna keep hold of that with nanotechnology. Absolutely sick. And I know it's not like a popular brand or whatever, it's not some hipster brand that sends you loads of free cool stuff on Instagram. But if you want one that'll actually do a job, I'll vote for this. So, we've had some casualties on the front here as well. Uh, the sensor broke, I didn't even want it to, like, obviously, wasn't trying to break it, but it broke anyway. Just so manly, I'm just two inch, mate. I'm honest. But I've ordered another one, 15 quid, so when that's here, I'll put that on. I'm just gonna have to deal with the beeps until then. Yeah, there it is. I don't even know where the other bit went. I, I haven't seen that since we got it out of the car, so 
So another sense, that's two sensors as casualties today. We're just about to put the final bits back on. Oh my God, I actually can't see anything. Yeah. Just putting the little clips back in, made sure the bolts are tight. Um, this has been the worst OEM replacement job I've ever done in my life. I've not enjoyed this one bit. I'm so glad, and I hate to say it, but that Tom Peck came back. Uh, can you just put your foot on the brake in a second as well, dude? So what we'll do now is get his wheel back on, get the car off, off the axle stand, let's go wear them in a little bit. I'm gonna spray him with brake cleaner before we go, but... Uh, I can't find me. Well, I won't spray him with brake, brake cleaner then. We'll just be very careful. Dude, this is gonna Are you recording this? Yeah. It's YouTube gold. It is. I'm gonna get no views. <laughs> There's gonna be some guy in the comments. If you just did this, it would clip them well, quick. And it, look, it gets. It doesn't make sense. Why don't you put the bottom in first? I'm gonna spend four grand on a brake kit just so I never have to do this. <laughs> What, what is the point of these? I don't know, mate. Why make it so difficult? I think it, stop, it stops the caliper chattering on the, on the thingy. Cool. What a f***ing design. Do you have to have this in there? Do we try and do it? If you don't mind. Ah! Right, do it, mate. Come on. Honda would have been done now. I'd be I know, yeah. Oh, this side's done at well time. We're done. We're fing done, boys. But there is? Yeah, done already. Right, guys, so as you can see now, the car's back on the floor and, uh, we're gonna now take it out just for like a half an hour rip, I guess, just to wear the brake pads in. We'll take you with us because I'm gonna go and absolutely f send it and <laughs> clear the fucking negative energy out of me by booting the sh out of this car because it's remarkably fun. Um, so let's go and send it, shall we? I hope I've done everything uptight. <laughs> go on. Oh, it does sound good. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. M3 brakes, they feel really good now. I'm actually really proud of myself because I didn't give up. Um, thank you so much for, oh. for... Mate, that's so gross. What, a bourbon? Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much for um, coming and helping me, mate. Honestly, I, I wasn't a one-man job without the right stuff, so I'm really And I you. found drilling out bits. Yeah, and... I really appreciate that. So, <laughs> the car, this car, while we're, while we're on the subject of it, just real quick, I am one day going to modify it. But right now, I want to focus completely on the Nissan, getting that ready over the next few weeks for, for the drift season, which is about two events for us now. And then I'm going to get the EK done in the background, and you'll all see that soon. Um, we've bought some more stuff for it. You might see it in the back of this video, um, or on my Instagram, at Adam Ivel, if you want some updates, early updates on it. Uh, join the 621 Drivers Club for fun car talk on Facebook. Um, follow Mr. Tom Peck on Instagram too, because he's been a great help to me over the, over the weekend. So thank you so much, dude. Genuinely appreciate it. No also, if they're on the 61 Driver Club, they can talk to me as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah. So yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching the channel. Uh, if you're new here or if you're not subscribed, please just consider subscribing. It all helps me and my uh, my fragile ego out and I get to sleep a little bit better at night. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love this car, man. I'm getting to go out and kick it about. It's so sick. Mate. So we are. I know exactly what I want to do to it. I know the mods I want to do. I know like all the bits I want to put on it. It's just a matter of when I've got the cash to because M cars have M prices, which is really, fr really frustrating. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it from me, from Peck. We'll see you again in another video very, very soon. Cheers for watching, dudes. Have a great... I was going to say day, but what if they're watching it like in bed? Have a great just sleep. be happy <laughs> unless you're not then just try and be okay like seek help or something i don't know see you later guys bye